In the mighty rush of evening, we'll get some hope of power. Riding through the woodland all We used to take a lot of old cars and get out on the highways and race. In the 40s, there were no speed limits. That was probably the craziest thing, driving inhumanly too fast, way too fast. My name is William Whipple. That's W-H-I-P-P-L-E. I'm 88 years old. Growing up when I was young, in those days what we had to do was go out and hustle a dime somewhere for something. 25 cents for a day's work mowing grass was about the standard. One mistake I made was I went to a college and was taking pre-med and then along came the war in Korea and I was going to be drafted, so I jumped and I enlisted. And had I waited another month, I wouldn't have had to go in the service. I wish I hadn't done that. Because I, st I still wish I had been able to be a doctor. It was a pretty tough decision to make, leaving the United States and coming to Canada. I was 41 years old and didn't have a lot of money. And the rewarding part was I moved my family up to a small town in central Alberta, east of Red Deer here, and started a foundry. And lo and behold, it turned out to be a very successful business, and it still continues. My family still owns and operates it. I'm proud of certainly of my children. They're all independent individuals. I'm proud of all of my children very much. I think I love all people. At least I give everybody I've known the benefit of the doubt. I'm a pretty generous guy. I'm willing to share what I have with just about anybody. There's going to be ups and there's going to be downs. But there is also going to be tomorrow. So don't go down too deep and don't go up too much. That's what life's all about. You don't have to be number one, but do the best you can. Everybody has something good about them to contribute. And I think that's the attitude I've had, even at 88. <laughs>